In this video, we'll look at using the launch cable and how it affects the measurement results. So to select a launch cable, we go into OTDR setup and then we can tick the launch cable box and choose the or enter the length of the launch cable here. And in this case, um, enter 150 meters. But first, let's run the test without the launch cable selected to see what we get with the normal results. So we'll hit OK here. We'll run the test, confirm our test settings. So we have the standard is the 568D 2019 standard. And our tray settings are 1300, 15 seconds, a 10 nanosecond pulse, range of one kilometer and medium sensitivity. So again, we're doing a 15 second scan here. So we're averaging many thousands of times during this 15 seconds to reduce the noise. And with a 10 nanosecond pulse on a cable that's about 500 meters long, we have plenty of energy here, so we should get a nice clean result. So finding the events, the event table gives us a first connector at 160 meters. Um, and you will notice the next event is a splice, followed by another connector, and then the end of the fiber. So when we look at the trace view, we can see the first connector, if we go back, the first connector is here, and it's very small in this particular view. So if I scroll back to the right to the splice, we can see there's a tiny little connector here. However, if I zoom in, we'll see that it is, it is much larger under zoom. And that just has to do with the way certain points are drawn when the uh, screen is zoomed out. Sometimes they might not appear as large as they do when zoomed in. So we have a first connector at 160 meters, and that's our launch cable. So our reference for zero, though, is down here at the beginning of the fiber. And so we're including this section of fiber in our distance, as well as the loss of this section of fiber here and measuring the loss of this first connector. So let's go back and reshoot this trace with the launch cable setting turned on. Now you'll notice I have it set to 150 meters um, and we saw that that first event is actually at 160. So my launch cable is 160 meters long. There's a plus or minus 10% um, scan range it looks at. So whatever you enter here, it's going to look at plus or minus 10%. So that would be 135 meters to 165 meters. So as long as the launch cable is within that window, it will t uh, pick it up and detect it. I could type in 160 here if I want, and it will then go uh, 160 meters plus or minus 10%. But in this case, it will pick it up since I'm inside that 10% window. And we won't change anything else. We'll just run the test again. All we've done is tick that box to turn the launch cable setting on. Now in this case, we'll see the first event um, will actually be that splice that was the second event before. So now once it's finding the events, we'll get our schematic view. And we'll see now that the first event is this um, launch. And then our first real event is the splice. It's now at 150 meters. So if we look at the um, first event here, the cursor is jumping to this splice. If we scroll our cursor back, we can see here that connector that was at 160 meters before is now showing at zero meters. And in fact, anything before here is still considered zero meters. So as far as the OTDR is concerned, all of the measurement information is starting from this point. So we're including the loss of the connector here and all of the events and the fiber after that connector, but we're not including any of the loss of this fiber beforehand. So this lets us measure the first connection that we're plugged into with our launch fiber, but not including the loss and the length of the launch fiber itself. So I hope that clears it up. If you're doing a tail fiber at the other end, we would select the same thing. We would put a, we would tick the box for a tail fiber and put in the length plus or minus 10%. And it will do the same thing where then it will show the length um, up to that tail fiber and including that last connection, but ignore everything after that last tail fiber connector. Thank you.